For the shrubs are being used by dairy farmers because of its high percentage in protein. Florence has been using Caliandra for three years and she has seen increase in milk production. We want to find out how she knew about Caliandra and how she's been feeding her cows with a fodder shrub. Moses from Ikraf VI Agroforestry is joining us to add more about why fodder shrubs are beneficial to dairy farmers. Florence, what types of fodder shrubs do you have? I have Lukinia, I have Caliandria, mm -hmm. I have Sasbania, I have Maliberi. Wow, yeah. well done. Yeah. When I look around, I'm seeing lots of Caliandra here mixed with, uh, is it bananas? Yes. Uh, is, is it good to intercrop Caliandra with bananas or any other crop? Yes, it is, because uh, Caliandra fixes nitrogen. And it's not only good for bananas, but also other food crops like maize, like uh, cassava, and other food crops that, are, that do not fix nitrogen. So they'll easily get uh, nitrogen that is being fixed by Caliandra. Ah. So it is good to intercrop. Even uh, in fodder lots, that is, you mix Caliandra with other grasses, like uh, napier grass, bracaria. So you, you can plant in different niches, even along the footpaths of your, your compound mm -hmm. or uh, around your homestead. Okay. Yeah. Florence, how did you hear about Caliandra? I knew Caliandra before because we were using for goats. Mm -hmm. I knew it was for goats, not for cow to bring milk. When I was introduced by the agroforest, yes. Shrub for Change is when they told me it brings milk. Uh -huh. Yes. Looking at your Caliandra, yes. it looks good. Yes. How do you know when it's ready for harvesting? It is supposed to be one meter. And I decided to cut when it is just one and a half. After shooting, it's when I just cut the stem, just to make it on the level. I just cut with the scissors or I use knife to cut. Uh -huh. Yeah. The knife should be very sharp. Yes. Also the scissors should be sharp enough. Uh -huh. So if you cannot afford the, the secativas, you can as well use a sharp knife a, or a sharp panga. Or a sharp panga. Yes. Okay. Remember, 500 shrubs harvested every two or three months will provide one cow with feed throughout the year. Harvest Caliandra every two to three months, ideally when it's one meter tall with a stem less than one centimeter wide. Cut in clean slanted position with a sharp knife or scissors. What do you do after you cut it? I just put it in a shed for a while. Yeah, need to remove that mosque from the Caliandra. You dry it? Yeah, I dry it. Yes. It will make a cow to plot when I take it like this. Oh. So wait, I should put on a shed for a while. In a shady place? Yes. After harvesting Caliandra, what the farmer should do, you put it under shed to wilt fat for 24 hours. Not 24 hours? Yeah, not less than 24. So, so that uh, you reduce the moisture content, so that as you feed your cow, then the tannin content is low, the palatability of caliander becomes high, then digestibility also is good. Palatability means cows are able to chew the fodder well and digest easily. So that uh, it reduces bloating, just as uh, Florence has said. Yes. But uh, you should not feed your cow caliander alone, so that it doesn't bloat. You add or you mix with other basil feeds, mm -hmm. the grasses and the hay and the silage. Mix fresh Caliandra with other fodder grasses like Napier to avoid the cows being bloated. Mix six kilograms of fresh Caliandra with 18 kilograms of other fodder grasses. This is enough for one cow per day. For dry Caliandra, mix three kilograms of Caliandra with 18 kilograms of other fodder grasses. If you have more Caliandra than your cows need, it's a good time to store it for later use. Dry the leaves in a shed and store it in sacks for later use, or you can mill it. Florence has been feeding two cows with Caliandra and she has been able to see improvement in milk production. Before, one of the cows was producing 15 liters of milk, and now it's producing 17 liters of milk daily. Ah! Uh...